Welcome to the beginning of topic two, and topic two is all about triangles and trigonometry. So we'll start with a basic introduction in this lesson of what some of the terms we need to know are. So trigonometry is all about triangles, so we have a triangle here, and what I want to point out here is we see the sides are represented by lowercase letters, where the angles are represented by the uppercase or capital letters. So opposite capital angle B is lowercase side b. And similarly, a and a and c and c. So the sides are lowercase, the angles or the vertices are uppercase or capitals. Some terms that you've probably heard of before but are important here. So we have a ray, which is any line that begins at a definite point and has no end. So it goes forever. So it starts at a is a definite point and goes on forever. It's called ray AB, and we denote it like this, ray AB with one arrow. Angles, then, are what we get if any two rays meet. So if we have two rays with a common beginning point, we call that point a vertex. And vertex of an angle is formed by rotating the terminal ray, that means where you stop, about the vertex from the initial ray, so where you start. The symbol that looks like this, angle, is used to, for the word angle. And we have six special kinds of angles written here. Acute, which means somewhere between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. Right, which means 90 degrees. Obtuse, which means between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. Straight, which is 180 degrees. Reflex, which is when we go from 180 degrees up to 360 degrees, and if we go the whole way around, then that one equals 360. So the right, the straight, and the full rotation are all exactly equal to 90, 180, and 360, and the other ones have to be between the ranges given. And you're definitely expected to know where each of these fits. So if you're given an angle of 170 degrees, you're expected to know that that would be an obtuse angle, for example. So here's a sketch of an angle. We have the initial ray where it starts, and then it would go up like this to a terminal ray where it finishes. When we name the angle, we always name with the vertex, so that end point here, in the middle of the name. So this would be angle ABC or CBA or just angle B. So we should add the other one here. So any of those would be an acceptable name of this angle as long as B is in the middle. A lot of times we'll use Greek letters. So alpha, beta, theta are all common names for angles. If we take an initial ray and rotate it all the way around back to the same spot we get what is a full rotation and that's 360 degrees and we saw that on the page before. We can have special pairs of angles. Angles can be complementary which means two angles whose sum is 90 and we have think corner written here. Corner complementary because we think it looks something like this where we get a 90 degree angle, or a corner, and the two angles inside add up to get that 90. So, for example, we could have 40 and 50, or 35 and 55, any combination that add up to 90. Similarly, we have supplementary, and here we can think straight, and those are angles that add up to 180. So if we have a line, any two angles here, for example, 40 and 140, add up to 180. Those are called supplementary, or 35 and 145. So those are also supplementary. Any two angles whose sum is 180. Triangles, then, are formed by three straight lines and always have three interior angles. So again here we note capital A for the angle, lowercase a, for the side. And that's written below as well. Capital letters are used for the vertices, lowercase letters. For the sides, opposite sides. Opposite's an important word in trigonometry. So opposite means across from, so we get like that. 
and B and C the same way. Just like we have special angles, we also get special triangles. And you're also expected to know these. So some special triangles we have. A scalene triangle means no equal sides. So scalene, nothing equal. Equilateral, and that sounds like equals, has three equal sides. And because all the sides are equal, the angles are also equal. And so there's a sketch of that. And these little lines here are telling you that all three of those sides are equal. And the same on the angles are all equal. We also have isosceles triangles. An isosceles triangle has two equal sides. And if these two sides are equal, then the angles opposite, opposite them are also equal. So we have two equal angles. And again, that's what those symbols on that sketch mean. So two equal sides, two equal angles, isosceles. And the final triangle that you really need to know is called a right triangle. And a right triangle means it has a right angle. And it, the right angle can be anywhere. And as long as it has one 90 degree angle, it is a right triangle. As it turns out, it can only have one 90 degree angle. And we'll see that in the next lesson with the sum angle principle or angle sum principle. Across from the 90 is a very special side called the hypotenuse. The other two sides are called legs. So a right triangle has a hypotenuse and two legs. You should also make note that the hypotenuse is the longest side. It's always the longest side. And in general, for any triangle, the longest side is opposite the longest or the largest, the largest angle. As it turns out, in a right triangle, the largest is a 90. So across from it is the hypotenuse is the longest. It is a special name. But in general, the longest side is opposite the largest angle. And the same is true. The smallest side is opposite the smallest angle. And that might help you down the road. So we'll stop this lesson there. That's a lot of really fast information to take in. Those are terms that you've heard before, I'm sure. So make sure you remember what they are and you're familiar enough to identify those items. And in the next lesson, we'll start doing some stuff with triangles, starting with the angle sum principle. If any of that was too fast and you're not understanding, make sure you get help. Come see me, go to the Math Help Center, but make sure that you're understanding. And we'll see you in the next lesson.